Okay, so once we are in our meeting, if we've created the meeting ourselves as hosts, then we have this breakout room icon here, which when we click, opens up our breakout room panel. Now, what I've done in advance here is set up some breakout rooms ready to look at. Um, as you can see, once we open up the breakout panel, we can see we've got two breakout rooms that we've set up and we can see that we've got some people already allocated to those. Um, you can usually only see the first two or three names. So if you want to see the list of who's in each breakout room, this little drop down arrow here can help us see more detail. Um, OK, so I've got all of this good to go. I can assign extra participants or move participants around by clicking on this. So if I decide to put Grace McDonald into, let's see, she's in room one. Let's move her to room two. As you can see, she's in room two now. Uh, let's move John from room two to room one, just to even things out, all organized. Um, and that's how you move participants around and assign them. It's really intuitive. Once we hit open, then those breakout rooms go live. You can see this the little circle goes around for a few seconds and we can see now that they're open. We can click on the little megaphone here to make an announcement. And we just get this pop-up box. So hi everyone, two minutes to go. So we can give some time checks um, or some words of encouragement. They get that as a little pop-up in their rooms as well. When it's time to bring them back, we can just click close and they'll come back. But just before we do that, let me show you something else. So as we hover over each room, we get these three little dots appear to the right. When we click on those, you can see that we have the option to join a room. Once we click join room, then we'll find ourselves in that room. Simple as that. So we can jump between the rooms and check in on our participants. Let's just close those rooms and let's recreate them. So we wanna do another set of breakout rooms. This time we want three rooms. So once we hit recreate, um, we'll get this pop-up that tells us that our existing rooms will be deleted. So I hit recreate and this time I want three breakout rooms. My favorite way is to just randomly have teams assign people to a room. So I'd just click automatic and then create. Or if I want to manually choose, like I just showed you, who goes into each room, then you just click on manual and then you'll get a list of participants um, here and you can assign them. We've got nobody actually live in the meeting right now, which is why nobody um, has appeared. And it's as simple as that. So enjoy your breakout rooms. They are a great feature of Microsoft Teams, very intuitive. I do encourage you to play and get more comfortable with them, um, but ultimately use them because it's the difference that makes the difference.